Hello, I have a small rhythm for you today and a small melody to go with it. And the rhythm and the melody are actually tied together and the melody helps you to remember the rhythm. You can also practice them without a ditch. And I want you to um, approach this from feeling and hearing rather than thinking and understanding what you play because I feel and think that it will be more, uh, it will be easier to do this and be playful with it if you hear it and feel it. And we have already done many thinking stuff. So the melody that we will uh, sing today will be very, very simple. It goes like this. Ta 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 da ta 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 and um, the first uh, level um, of that exercise would be that you just create a small carpet of drone beneath each note that you sing. Okay, so you will not even need circular breathing and you can sing at one point when there is no sound. So if I count this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then we have the melody like this. Ta 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 and maybe you have noticed that on the count of six, there is nothing going on. So you can breathe in there like this. Okay. So I will uh, play it on my CD Jiridu Moitze because I uh, like it a lot and I like it a lot for singing. And if you want to learn more about it, uh, you can find out on our Digiridu website. So the beginner's exercise has no circular reading, has very uh, simple movements. You just open your mouth, you sing, and you do a small carpet of drone beneath each uh, note. <laughs> You don't need to inhale this much, I just inhaled um, so much so that you can see where I inhale, but probably that would be too much for the whole pattern. There are other places where you can breathe, but if you're new to this game, probably that point of six will be the easiest. So again, if you count it. Pa, 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 pa. Pa, 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 pa. And if you feel that you don't have time to uh, inhale, then just play slower. Pa, 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 pa. Once you get comfortable with this, you can come to the level two or if this feels too easy, you can come to the level 2 right away. So the level 2 will be that you create a carpet of drone underneath all the notes and each singing note you bounce breathe. So you push from the belly and use the elasticity to breathe just after the singing. In this way you will have several places where you can sing. You can sing on 1, on 2, on 3.5 or 4, actually on 4. six, seven, eight will also be logical places to breathe in. So there are a lot of places to breathe in. And if you breathe in very often, then you just want to sniff very small amounts of air. Um, here you can, I feel already start to play around with the melody a little bit with the pattern. You can make 
maybe some small decorations of the of the melody maybe at the end it's the mo most logical place Um, like in level one, in level two, you should take care that your melody actually comes out of the ditch so that you can hear it by yourself. If you, f if you can't recognize your melody coming out of the ditch, then probably no one else will be able to. So how to get your melody more clear? I would say relax your throat, open your mouth. So don't constrain the voice inside, don't, don't sing like... <laughs> Open up a little bit. Pa, 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 pa. So nobody, nobody sees you. You don't have to put it on YouTube. You don't have to put it anywhere. But be free when you do it. Okay. The third level, um, I will explain the least because it's the most, it takes most, most time to explain. And if you want to learn things like that, I suggest that you come to my masterclass or some of my workshops. Um, and in level three, I would uh, substitute all the bounce breathing with uh, pulls, so all the pushes with pulls. And when I do the pull, I would do the trumpet on after singing and the breath, of course. And I will incorporate a little bit more of decorations to the melody. And you can speed up at this moment because probably it will sound a little bit better. And if you can already do everything else, you're allowed to play it a little bit faster. Don't play it too fast because you will lose the melody. So let's hear uh, the exercise uh, of singing with uh, more pull principle incorporated and more tooting. <laughs> I suggest if you can do the third level that you actually do all three one following another and you can notice how the complexity adds a little bit of uh, three dimensionality to it and uh, the more you do uh, stuff around uh, mm, this the, the melody uh, the more you are flirting with the fact that you're losing the melody so I guess if you want to keep that balance you really need to sing very clearly and very precisely at the places where you can sing anyway this is how it uh, how it follows one two and three <laughs> So that's it and one more thing that you can do uh, once you have done all one, two and three is to play around. Actually you can do it maybe on 
every level. You can do it after you um, master the first level, after you master the second level, after you master the third level. You can play around, choose a tempo, and um, you don't have to be very strict about what you will do. So again, go from the feeling, go from what you want to play, explore a little bit. What if you reduce uh, the drone a little bit? What if you change the end of the rhythm? What if you change the dynamics? What if you change the tempo while you play consciously? So all these will uh, bring something new and uh, um, you will feel what it, what it feels like to play the groove that comes from the melody, okay? Usually in Ditch we create the grooves around certain sounds which are not melodic, but usually some articulation or some beat or some overtone pattern. And this approach shows you what it is like if you create a groove um, from a melodic pattern. So I will improvise a little bit just to give you an idea what I would do with it, like in this moment. And I hope that in another attempt I would do something different, because that's the point of mm, trying uh, sincerely as if you are trying for the first time. Okay, so I hope um, it makes sense for you and that you can, uh, can find your way with this melody and um, if you get any great results, send me a recording. That's all and spiral out. Keep going. <laughs> 